When did you decide to get involved in powerlifting <coughs> and the strongman competition? Um, actually, um, what do you call this? I used to do rugby when I was like way younger than that, maybe 12 years old until mm -hmm. um, 17. But the thing is that when I was 13 years old, I actually broke my wrist. Mm -hmm. And then after the recovery, the doctor, there, there were two doctors actually. One suggested that I should, you know, go through a surgery and put a plate inside. And the other one mm -hmm. told me to go to the gym, strengthen it. Right. So I listened to the second one and then I felt like, you know, this could be it. And then when I first started training and everything after a few months, I felt that I'm much stronger than anyone, you know, around my age and this kind of thing. So, okay. Yeah. So um, what's the attraction? I mean, this is um, my own opinion because um, I felt that through years and through millenniums of, you know, what do you call this, uh, um, what do you call this, civilizations and everything, people have always adored strength, you know, mm -hmm. and power. We've always um, adored this, idolized mm -hmm. this kind of um, attributes, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Hello guys, I'm Zara Alfian, I'm a powerlifter, I'm 23 years old and welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm just going to explain to you guys roughly the food intake that I usually do on a daily basis and I usually consume about 6,000 to 7,000 calories depends on my season. Usually in the morning I would have bread with uh, a lot of peanut butter some eggs so the main idea for today is the specialty for today is is the lamb and the chicken but i'm going to talk about the chicken first so usually i have chicken tomatoes and carrots usually i would um, boil this one boil the chicken and then i would blend them together and drink it i know it sounds disgusting but that's how i do things to get the calories done and everything and then usually for dinner or supper i would have a big one a big meal because come on after the gym we get tired and everything so we need a big meal for myself so usually I have steaks, where be it lamb, uh, fish steak, um, beef, with a lot of rice. Tell us about that. I mean, your very first competition. Very first competition. Yeah, you've come a long way since, but what was that like back in the day? Um, if I recall correctly again, I think my first competition was when I was 16. And obviously I was um, very inexperienced. Experience plays a big role in these sports. I mean, all of the sports as well. Mm -hmm. So I was very nervous actually. I mean, yeah. even up till now, you know, coming to yeah. another competitions and everything, I get really nervous, but I guess that's part of, you know, doing mm -hmm. something out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, nine years, I mean, I think about six years back or something, my first competition. It was quite fun actually. I, yeah. I've learned a lot, a lot of things that the things, the do's, the don'ts. Yeah. So right now I'm just uh, making, I'm just uh, pan searing some steaks and then uh, some lamb for minced lamb. So I'm gonna add teriyaki sauce and this kind of thing. So it's gonna be sweet and a bit savory as well at the same time. So this one is roughly for my dinner. And then for the steak, it's, it's kind of like a pre-dinner meal. Yeah, so we'll see what's gonna happen next. What do your friends and family think about you, you know, dedicating so much time into this? Yeah, um, family-wise, I felt that, you know, I've kind of like, you know, didn't have much, you know, family time and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But um, actually my granny, she's had stroke for nine years now. So I've been trying to balance between school, training and work and her as well. Mm -hmm. So I used to take care of her, like, you know, shower her, right. feed her foods and everything. Your grandmother, yeah? Yeah, my grandmother, yeah. She's the only one that I have, yeah. yeah. Uh, lifting, she yeah. attended a few of my competitions. Yeah. And then she got scared, actually. She got she scared like, for you. She was like, why do you need to flip a massive tire? Why do you need to pull the truck? Why, yeah. do you, why a lot of whys? Mm -hmm. And then I just told her, like, I love this sport. This is. I felt like this is me, this is what I'm destined to do. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I don't like it. All right, 
So right now I have tomatoes and carrots. I'm gonna blend them together with the chicken. So basically, this is one of the fastest way for me to consume fibers and protein. So usually I do this twice a day. Sometimes I mix with peanut butter. I mean, it gets a bit, <clears throat> you know, the taste and everything it goes a bit off, but it fits whatever nutrients that I uh, require for my daily needs. Like basically, if you cook chicken and you need to eat it, maybe it'll take you about 30 minutes. But with chicken shake, maybe 10 seconds. Zaro, you mentioned that you live with your grandmother yeah. and she's the only one you really have left. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, when I was two years old, that, uh, that was back in 1998. Both of my parents got into um, an accident which, um, which, I, which mm -hmm. was when I lost them. Yeah, Both. they passed away. My mom passed away on the spot, according to my granny, and then my late dad, a week after, right a week after. How was that like, growing up without your parents? Oh, this is tough, because like, you know, I, go to a, I went to a, the government school, so every time we have the report card session, I'm sure you guys can relate to this. Mm -hmm. So the parents would come and everything, like, you know, I, what do you call this? Um, some of the teachers would come to me like, why are you still here? Like, they didn't know. I mean, I don't blame them. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, they're they're yeah. nice. They're the sweetest people ever. So they would ask me and I was just like, um, actually, I don't have parents. And then my right. granny is busy working. And then my aunt is busy working as well. So I guess I'll just wait until the ring bells. Aww. And then, yeah, I mean, I felt very sad because, mm. you know, I would say I was lack of attention and love, those kind of things. But yeah. I guess through sports and everything, I gain the positive attention mm -hmm. that I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then maybe love as well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so finally, I'm done with my meal prep. What I have here is uh, my chicken shake, which is um, the one that everyone hates, but I love it. Because it gets me all the you know fuel for me to get stronger and everything. This one, right next up, is um, I have some rice, basmati rice, some long beans and pan seared steak. So basically, this is my, I would say, pre-dinner meal. And then, this is a hefty one. So I made myself some, uh, what do you call this, mint lamb, made from scratch. And this is gonna be for my dinner, or maybe if I couldn't finish it, I'm gonna move it to my, for my supper as well. And I'm gonna pair it with some salted long beans. So there we have it. For today, these are my meals. Alright, so we had a long day just now in the gym and in the kitchen just now. So, I'm gonna dive in right now. I'm very hungry. <laughs>